Have you ever found yourself drowning in tasks, overwhelmed by deadlines, and feeling like there just aren't enough hours in the day? If so, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into a game-changing skill that can transform the way you work and elevate your success in the office, the art of effective delegation. Picture this, you're an office professional with a to-do list that seems never-ending. Every day, you're juggling multiple projects, responding to emails, attending meetings, it's a constant hustle. And in the midst of this chaos, you're facing a common challenge, burnout. You're stretched thin, quality is slipping, and the joy you once found in your work is fading. Now imagine there's a way to not only alleviate the stress, but also boost your productivity and achieve outstanding results. That's where effective delegation comes in. In this video course, we'll unravel the secrets behind delegation, a skill that can be a game changer in your professional journey. So if you're eager to reclaim your time, enhance your efficiency, and become a powerhouse in the workplace, stick around. This is one of the most comprehensive courses on delegation you'll find on the internet. We've got practical tips, real life examples, and a roadmap to mastering delegation that will keep you engaged from start to finish. We'll walk through what good delegation is and is not, the levels of delegation and when appropriate to use each one, and we'll walk through a strategic framework anyone can apply to delegate effectively. Let's level up together and unlock the potential of effective delegation. Now other training channels will want you to pay for their expensive training courses for the information we're presenting today. We're not asking for any of that. All we ask in return is if you like the video, please give us a like and consider subscribing. Stick around to the end of the video for some of our comprehensive summary slides to the topics we're discussing so you won't even need to take notes along the way. You don't want to miss that. What is delegation? Delegation is the art of entrusting tasks and responsibilities to others while maintaining accountability for the overall outcome. It's about distributing work strategically to leverage the strengths of a team, promoting efficiency, and achieving collective success. What does good delegation look like? Delegation is a collaborative process that involves assigning tasks based on individual strengths and expertise. It empowers team members to make decisions within their designated scope of work, fostering a sense of ownership and shared responsibility. In an office setting, effective delegation leads to improved productivity, job satisfaction, and a more dynamic work environment. For example, imagine you're an office manager overseeing a project. Delegating tasks such as research to a team member with strong analytical skills and assigning communication responsibilities to someone with excellent interpersonal abilities exemplifies effective delegation. This way, everyone contributes their unique strengths towards the project's success. What delegation is not? Delegation is not passing off tasks indiscriminately or avoiding responsibility. It doesn't mean shirking duties but rather involves thoughtful planning and consideration. Ineffective delegation can lead to confusion, lack of clarity, and ultimately, project failure. For example, suppose you pass on a critical project without providing clear instructions or understanding your team member's strengths. This would be ineffective delegation as it might result in miscommunication, missed deadlines, and a project that falls short of expectations. Delegation is about teamwork, effective communication, and maximizing individual strengths to achieve collective goals in the office. It's a skill that, when mastered, can transform the way professionals work and contribute to a more successful and fulfilling work environment. Now, as we delve further into the world of delegation, we'll walk through the various levels of delegation and when it's appropriate to use each level. Level 1. Direct Supervision In this level, you provide clear and detailed instructions, closely supervising every step of the task. It's suitable for new or less experienced team members or for tasks requiring specific guidance. Use direct supervision when introducing someone to a new task, ensuring they understand expectations and processes thoroughly. A good example of using direct supervision is directly supervising a new team member creating a report by providing step-by-step -step instructions and monitoring their progress closely. Level 2. Guided Participation Here you offer more guidance but allow team members to make decisions within defined parameters. It encourages autonomy while maintaining a supportive environment. Guided participation is ideal for tasks where team members have some experience, allowing them to apply their skills and judgment while still having a safety net of guidance. For example, guiding a team member in planning an event, specifying the objectives and key elements while allowing them to make decisions on details like decorations and catering. Level 3. Collaborative Decision-Making At this level, team members actively participate in decision-making. 
You provide input, but the final decisions are a joint effort, fostering a sense of ownership and shared responsibility. You use collaborative decision-making for tasks that benefit from diverse perspectives, creativity, and collective problem-solving. A good example is collaboratively deciding on the marketing strategy for a new product launch, involving the team in brainstorming ideas and collectively shaping the approach. Level 4. Independent Action At this level, team members have full autonomy. They make decisions and execute tasks independently with minimal direct involvement from the leader. This level is reserved for tasks where team members have demonstrated competence and experience. Ideal for promoting self-reliance and empowering individuals. A good example would be allowing a seasoned team member to independently lead a project, making decisions from planning to execution based on their expertise. Understanding and applying these levels of delegation help leaders tailor their approach based on the nature of the task and the experience level of their team members. Now we're going to walk through our eight-step delegation framework anyone can apply to delegate effectively. This is a powerful tool to help you in your delegation journey and we're happy to offer it here. One, clearly define tasks. Clearly articulate the tasks you want to delegate. Ensure that the expectations, goals, and desired outcomes are well-defined. When it comes to clearly defining tasks for effective delegation, consider the following steps. Identify the objective. Clearly understand the purpose of the task. What is the end goal or objective you aim to achieve through this delegation? Ensure that it aligns with broader project or organizational goals. Break down the task. Divide the task into specific, manageable components. Breaking down complex tasks into smaller steps makes it easier for team members to grasp and execute. Set clear expectations. Define the expectations for the task. What is the quality standard? Are there specific guidelines or requirements that need to be followed? Communicate these clearly to avoid any ambiguity. Outline key milestones or checkpoints within the task. This helps in tracking progress and ensures that the project stays on course. Milestones also provide natural opportunities for feedback. Clarify deadlines. Specify deadlines for each phase of the task or the task as a whole. Clearly communicate when you expect the work to be completed. This helps in managing time effectively and prevents last-minute rushes. Provide context. Offer background information and context for the task. Help team members understand how their work contributes to the larger project or organizational objectives. Context enhances motivation and engagement. Address potential challenges. Anticipate any potential challenges or roadblocks associated with the task. Communicate these challenges to your team members and discuss potential solutions. This proactive approach promotes problem solving. Document instructions, provide written instructions or guidelines, especially for tasks with intricate details. This documentation serves as a reference and helps in avoiding misunderstandings. Confirm understanding. Before concluding the delegation conversation, confirm that the team members understand the task, expectations, and deadlines. This could be done through a quick recap or asking them to articulate the task in their own words. By following these steps, you lay a strong foundation for effective delegation, ensuring that your team members have a clear understanding of the tasks they are entrusted with. This clarity minimizes confusion, enhances productivity, and contributes to the overall success of the delegation process. 2. Understand team members. Know the strengths, skills, and interests of your team members. Delegate tasks that align with their capabilities to maximize efficiency and success. Let's break down the process of understanding team members and aligning tasks with their capabilities for effective delegation. Get to know your team. Take the time to know each team member individually. Learn about their skills, strengths, and what they enjoy doing at work. Encourage open conversations with your team. Ask about their experiences, what they excel at, and where they feel most confident. Identify special skills. Recognize any special skills or talents your team members possess. This could be anything from great problem-solving abilities to excellent communication skills. Look back at past projects and successes. Identify instances where team members have shown and understand what contributed to those achievements. Ask for preferences, inquire about their preferences and what they enjoy working on. Knowing what tasks excite them can lead to more motivated and engaged team members. Consider learning goals, understand each person's learning goals and areas where they want to grow. Delegating tasks that align with these goals provides opportunities for skill development. Once you have a good understanding, match tasks to each team member's strengths. If someone is great at analysis, delegate tasks that require analytical thinking. 
Ensure a balanced workload by distributing tasks evenly among team members. Avoid overloading one person while others have lighter loads. Promote collaboration within the team. Encourage team members to share their skills and support each other, creating a more cohesive and effective working environment. Provide opportunities for growth. Look for tasks that not only align with current skills but also provide room for growth. Delegating challenges can inspire personal and professional development. By taking these steps, you'll be well equipped to understand your team members and assign tasks that play to their strengths. This approach maximizes efficiency, boosts team morale, and sets the stage for overall success. 3. Provide adequate resources. Ensure that those to whom you delegate have the necessary resources, tools, and information to complete the task successfully. Let's explore the details of providing adequate resources for effective delegation. Clarify task requirements. Make sure everyone understands what's needed for the task. Clearly outline the requirements, goals, and expected outcomes. Check available tools. Ensure your team has the right tools for the job. This might include software, equipment, or any other resources necessary for completing the task. Provide access to information. Make information easily accessible. Share documents, guidelines, or any relevant materials to help your team members understand the context and requirements of the task. Offer any necessary training or support. If there are specific skills needed for the task, ensure your team members have the knowledge to tackle it successfully. Establish realistic deadlines. Give your team members a clear time frame for completing the task, ensuring they have enough time to work effectively. If applicable, provide a clear budget. Ensure your team knows the financial boundaries for the task, whether it's for purchasing materials or allocating funds. Keep communication channels open. Encourage your team to reach out if they need additional resources or if they face any challenges during the task. Anticipate potential obstacles. Identify any hurdles that might arise and work with your team to find solutions before they become major issues. Celebrate achievements. Acknowledge the successful completion of tasks. Recognize the efforts of your team members and celebrate achievements, creating a positive and motivating atmosphere. By following these steps, you ensure that your team has everything they need to successfully complete the delegated task. Providing adequate resources is a crucial element in effective delegation, setting the stage for a smooth and successful project. 4. Establish clear communication. Clearly communicate your expectations, deadlines, and any specific requirements. Encourage an open line of communication for questions or clarification. Let's break down the details of establishing clear communication for effective delegation in simple terms. Clearly express expectations. Start by clearly stating what you expect from the task. Outline the goals, objectives, and any specific outcomes you're aiming for. Set transparent deadlines for the task. Let your team know when you expect the work to be completed. This helps everyone stay on the same page regarding timing. Clearly outline any specific requirements for the task. Whether it's a particular format, style, or approach, make sure your team understands what's needed. Encourage two-way communication. Create an environment where communication flows both ways. Encourage your team to ask questions, seek clarification, and share their thoughts on the task. Use clear and simple language. Keep your communication simple and straightforward. Avoid jargon or complex language that might cause confusion. Clarity is key. Use various communication channels that are available. Whether it's email, messaging apps, or meetings, choose the channels that work best for your team to ensure effective communication. Hold kickoff meetings for major tasks. This provides an opportunity to communicate expectations, answer questions, and set the tone for the project. Provide written guidelines or instructions. Having a document that team members can refer to ensures that everyone is on the same page and reduces the chances of misunderstandings. Maintain an open door policy. Let your team know they can approach you with any concerns or questions. Accessibility promotes a sense of security and encourages communication. Acknowledge messages and respond promptly. Show your team that their communication is valued, fostering a culture of open and responsive dialogue. By incorporating these steps, you ensure that communication is clear, transparent, and open. Establishing clear communication is a fundamental aspect of effective delegation, promoting a collaborative and productive working environment. 5. Encourage autonomy. Empower your team members by giving them the autonomy to make decisions within the scope of their delegated tasks. This fosters a sense of ownership and responsibility. We can encourage autonomy for effective delegation with the following steps. Define the task scope. 
Clearly outline the scope of the delegated task. Provide a boundary that lets your team members know the limits within which they can make decisions. Share the big picture. Offer insight into the larger context. Help your team members understand how their task contributes to the overall goals of the project or organization. Clarify decision-making authority. Explicitly communicate the level of decision-making authority they have. Clearly state what aspects they can decide on independently and where they might need your input. Foster a culture of creative problem solving. Let your team know that you value innovative solutions. Offer guidelines rather than restrictions. Instead of dictating every step, provide general guidance that empowers your team members to find the best way to accomplish their tasks. Be a source of support, not a micromanager. Make it clear that while you're available for guidance, you trust your team members to handle their tasks independently. Celebrate independence, acknowledge and celebrate instances of autonomy. Recognize when team members take initiative and make decisions, reinforcing the value of their autonomy. Encourage decision ownership, instill a sense of ownership in decision-making. Emphasize that the decisions they make are crucial contributions to the success of the task and the overall project. Offer constructive feedback. When providing input, focus on improvements and learning rather than criticizing, reinforcing a positive and supportive environment. Learn from mistakes. Emphasize that mistakes are opportunities to learn. Encourage a growth mindset where errors are seen as steps toward improvement rather than reasons for blame. Promote self-reflection. Prompt your team members to assess their decisions and outcomes, fostering continuous improvement and personal growth. By following these steps, you empower your team members to take ownership of their tasks, fostering autonomy and responsibility. This approach not only enhances the effectiveness of delegation, but also cultivates a positive and proactive team culture. Six, offer support. Be available for support and guidance when needed. Check in periodically to track progress and address any challenges. So how do we go about offering support to help facilitate delegation? Express availability. Make it known that you're available to provide support. Let your team members know they can reach out if they have questions, concerns, or need guidance. Schedule regular check-ins. Periodically touch base with your team members to discuss progress, address any challenges, and ensure that everything is on track. Encourage your team to provide updates. Prompt them to share their progress, achievements, and any obstacles they might be facing, creating an open line of communication. Offer guidance, not dictation. Be a source of guidance rather than dictation. When your team encounters challenges, offer suggestions and guidance to help them find solutions while allowing room for their decision-making. Offer additional resources when needed. If your team requires more information, tools, or support, make sure they have access to the necessary resources for successful task completion. Address concerns promptly. If your team members express challenges or uncertainties, respond in a timely manner to provide the assistance or clarification they need. Foster a supportive environment. Let your team know that seeking support is not only encouraged but essential for overcoming obstacles and ensuring project success. Acknowledge and celebrate achievements. When your team reaches milestones or successfully completes tasks, take the time to recognize their efforts and contributions. Encourage team collaboration. Promote collaboration within the team. Encourage team members to support each other, fostering a sense of camaraderie and shared responsibility. Adapt support to individual needs. Recognize that different team members may require different types of support. Tailor your approach based on individual needs, preferences, and working styles. Offer constructive feedback. When offering feedback, focus on constructive suggestions for improvement, fostering a culture of continuous learning and growth. By incorporating these steps, you create a supportive environment where your team feels comfortable reaching out for help when needed. Offering support is a key component of effective delegation, ensuring that your team has the resources and guidance necessary for success. Seven, acknowledge and reward. Recognize and appreciate the efforts of your team members. Providing positive feedback and acknowledging their contributions can boost morale. Let's explore the details of acknowledging and rewarding team members for effective delegation in straightforward terms. Start by expressing gratitude. Let your team members know that you appreciate their hard work and contributions to the project. Be specific in your feedback. Highlight particular aspects of their work that impressed you, emphasizing the value they brought to the team. Consider public recognition. Whether in meetings or through team communication channels, publicly acknowledge the efforts of your team members to boost morale and motivation. Celebrate achievements, both big and small. 
Take the time to acknowledge milestones and successful task completions, creating a positive and rewarding atmosphere. Customize your recognition efforts. Consider the preferences of individual team members. Some may appreciate public praise, while others might prefer a more private acknowledgement. Provide personalized rewards. This could be as simple as a handwritten note, a small gift, or any gesture that reflects your appreciation for their hard work. Foster a positive team environment. An atmosphere of appreciation and recognition not only boosts morale, but also encourages a culture of mutual support and collaboration. Schedule feedback sessions. Use these sessions to discuss achievements, provide positive reinforcement, and address any areas for improvement in a constructive manner. Encourage peer-to-peer -peer recognition. Foster a culture where team members acknowledge and appreciate each other's contributions, creating a supportive and collaborative team dynamic. Connect recognition to the impact of their contributions. Help team members understand how their efforts directly contribute to the success of the project or organization. Promote continuous recognition. Make recognition a continuous practice. Regularly acknowledge the ongoing efforts of your team members, ensuring that appreciation is not a one-time occurrence but a consistent part of the team culture. By incorporating these steps, you create a work environment where team members feel valued and motivated. Acknowledging and rewarding efforts is a powerful component of effective delegation, fostering a positive and collaborative team atmosphere. 8. Learn from feedback. Be open to feedback from your team members. Learn from their experiences and continuously refine your delegation approach based on the feedback received. Now that we have all this feedback, what do we do with it? Let's explore the details of learning from feedback for effective delegation in simple terms. Encourage open communication. Start by fostering open communication. Make it clear that you welcome feedback from your team members and value their perspectives. Regularly seek input. Actively ask for feedback on your delegation approach, processes, and any areas where improvements can be made. Create a safe space for feedback. Ensure that your team feels comfortable sharing their thoughts without fear of repercussions, fostering a culture of openness. Practice active listening. When receiving feedback, listen attentively to understand the concerns, suggestions, or experiences your team members are sharing. Acknowledge and appreciate feedback. Let your team know that you value their input and that their feedback plays a crucial role in improving the delegation process. Reflect on experiences shared. Take time to reflect on the feedback received, considering how it aligns with your goals and identifying areas for adjustment. Identify patterns. Look for patterns in feedback. If multiple team members share similar experiences or suggestions, recognize these patterns as potential areas for improvement. Be willing to adapt your approach. Based on the feedback received, make adjustments to your delegation methods to better meet the needs and expectations of your team. Communicate changes transparently and often. If you make adjustments based on feedback, share this information with your team, demonstrating that their input is valued and can lead to positive changes. Express gratitude for feedback. Thank your team for taking the time to share their experiences and insights, reinforcing the importance of their contributions. By following these steps, you not only create a culture of continuous improvement, but also demonstrate your commitment to learning from your team's experiences. Learning from feedback is a vital component of effective delegation, ensuring that your approach evolves to better support your team's success. Communication skills play a pivotal role in delegation, ensuring tasks are understood and executed successfully. When delegating, it's crucial to communicate tasks clearly and concisely to avoid misunderstandings. Effective communication sets expectations, outlines goals, and provides a roadmap for the task at hand. This clarity minimizes the chances of mistakes, prevents confusion, and enhances overall productivity. Moreover, clear communication fosters a collaborative environment where team members feel confident in their understanding of their roles. It promotes an open line of dialogue, encouraging team members to seek clarification when needed, ultimately contributing to a smoother delegation process. Tips for effective communication and delegation include using straightforward language, providing written instructions, and encouraging team members to ask questions for better comprehension. By emphasizing communication skills, delegation becomes a streamlined process, ensuring everyone is on the same page and working towards shared objectives. In the delegation process, challenges and conflicts may arise, but addressing them effectively is key to maintaining a smooth workflow. Common challenges include misunderstandings, differing expectations, and potential roadblocks. To navigate these issues, open communication is crucial, 
encourage team members to express concerns and ask questions. Clear and transparent communication helps in resolving misunderstandings before they escalate. When conflicts emerge, approach them with a problem-solving mindset. Identify the root cause, involve the concerned parties in finding solutions, and seek compromises when needed. Flexibility is also essential. Be prepared to adapt plans if unexpected challenges arise. Regular check-ins and feedback sessions contribute to a proactive approach, ensuring that any emerging issues are addressed promptly. By acknowledging challenges and conflicts and implementing practical tips for resolution, the delegation process can continue smoothly, promoting a positive and collaborative team environment. In the delegation process, monitoring and evaluation play a crucial role in ensuring the success of delegated tasks. Regular check-ins and assessments are vital components that contribute to project success. Monitoring involves keeping a close eye on the progress of delegated tasks, ensuring they align with expectations and deadlines. It provides an opportunity to address any challenges promptly and make necessary adjustments. Evaluation, on the other hand, involves assessing the outcomes against the set goals, identifying areas of improvement, and recognizing achievements. Regular communication with team members through check-ins fosters an open and supportive environment, allowing for the exchange of feedback and insights. Encouraging participants to share their progress, achievements, and challenges during these check-ins enhances collaboration and contributes to overall project success. Navigating diverse team dynamics is essential in effective delegation, recognizing that each team may operate differently. To adapt successfully, start by understanding the unique strengths, communication styles, and working preferences of team members. Tailor your delegation approach based on this understanding, ensuring tasks align with their capabilities and interests. Encourage open communication to grasp the diverse perspectives within the team, fostering collaboration. Flexibility is key, allowing you to adjust strategies to accommodate different working styles. Emphasize the importance of unity and shared goals, promoting a positive team culture. By acknowledging and appreciating the diversity within your team, you create an inclusive environment that maximizes the collective strengths of each team member, ultimately contributing to successful delegation. Recognizing and respecting cultural considerations is crucial in effective delegation, especially in diverse settings. Cultural nuances can significantly impact the delegation process, influencing communication styles, decision-making approaches, and work preferences. It's essential to understand and embrace these cultural differences to foster a collaborative and inclusive environment. Tips for navigating cultural considerations include promoting open dialogue to address any cultural misunderstandings, seeking to understand various perspectives, and adapting your delegation approach to accommodate diverse cultural practices. By embracing cultural diversity, you not only enhance collaboration, but also create a work environment that values and respects the richness of different cultural backgrounds, contributing to the overall success of the delegation process. Effective time management is a crucial aspect of successful delegation. When delegating tasks, it's essential to prioritize activities and set realistic deadlines to ensure the smooth flow of work. One tip for efficient time management and delegation is to categorize tasks based on urgency and importance. This allows you to focus on high-priority assignments and allocate resources accordingly. Additionally, establish clear deadlines for each delegated task, taking into account the overall project timeline. Regular check-ins and milestone assessments help track progress and identify potential delays, allowing for timely adjustments. By emphasizing time management within the delegation framework, you contribute to the overall efficiency and productivity of the team, ensuring tasks are completed within specified timeframes. Before we conclude, let's walk through a top 10 list of common mistakes in delegation and corresponding strategies to correct them. Mistake 1. Lack of clarity in instructions. This mistake occurs when instructions for delegated tasks are unclear. To correct this, it's essential to clearly articulate tasks, expectations, and desired outcomes. Utilize written guidelines or checklists to ensure that team members fully understand the requirements. Mistake 2. Being a micromanager. Micromanaging involves excessive supervision, which can hinder team autonomy. The correction strategy is to trust your team members, provide autonomy, and focus on results rather than getting involved in minute details unless necessary. Mistake 3. Poor task assignment. Assigning tasks without considering individual strengths and skills is a common mistake. The correction strategy involves matching tasks to individuals' capabilities, understanding their strengths, and delegating tasks accordingly for optimal performance. 
Mistake four, insufficient communication. Inadequate communication can lead to misunderstandings. The correction strategy is to foster open communication channels, encourage questions, provide regular updates, and ensure that team members feel comfortable seeking clarification. Mistake five, ignoring development opportunities. Failure to see delegation as a growth opportunity is a mistake. The correction strategy is to delegate tasks that challenge and develop your team members' skills, fostering their professional advancement. Mistake six, overlooking recognition. Not acknowledging and appreciating team efforts is a common error. To correct this, provide positive feedback and recognize achievements to boost morale and motivation. Mistake seven, avoiding delegation. Altogether recognize the value of delegation instead of avoiding it. Start with small tasks, gradually increasing complexity. Understand that effective delegation is a key leadership skill. Mistake eight, setting unrealistic expectations. This mistake involves assigning tasks with unrealistic expectations. The correction strategy is to assess tasks realistically, set achievable deadlines, and avoid overwhelming team members, preventing burnout and ensuring quality work. Mistake nine, neglecting follow-up. Neglecting to check in on progress is a common oversight. The correction strategy is to regularly follow up, provide support if needed, and offer constructive feedback, ensuring ongoing support throughout the delegation process. Mistake 10, failure to learn from feedback. Not being open to feedback is a significant mistake. The correction strategy involves actively seeking feedback from both yourself and your team members, learning from experiences, adjusting your approach, and continuously improving the delegation process. Addressing these mistakes and implementing corresponding strategies enhances delegation skills, fostering a more productive and positive work environment. Congratulations on finishing this training course. Now here's that bonus we promised. You can pause the video here to take notes or nab a screenshot. If you don't understand any of the concepts here, please go back and watch that section of the video. If you liked the video or found it of value, please give us a like and consider subscribing. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm to continue to grow our network and bring you future great videos. Thank you for watching.